In this video, we're going to get introduced to AJAX. So what is AJAX? AJAX stands for Asynchronous um, JavaScript and XML. And it's used to uh, exchange data between a uh, web page and a server. Websites like Facebook, Gmail and other websites, they will use AJAX to change parts of the web page uh, without having to reload the page every time. So this will make the user experience uh, better and more interactive. All right. So in our session, we will create a few examples uh, where we're going to use J jQuery to build some uh, AJAX code. So to start, uh, we're going to be looking at the uh, Facebook div. And all we're going to do now is uh, to load some data from an external file and change the contents of the Facebook div using that data without reloading the page. Okay. So first of all, let's create a text file somewhere. We're going to create inside a folder. We're going to call Ajax. And then inside the folder, we're going to have a uh, text file. Let's call it some data.txt. So inside this, te this text file, we're going to have some HTML code. Okay. So let's have a couple of paragraphs. This is some data. And let's give it an ID. Paragraph 1. And let's have a second paragraph with an ID paragraph 2. And some text there. This is some other data. And let's save that. Okay. Now if you go to our file, Ajax, those HTML, uh, we're going to write some um, code inside our document ready uh, function. So we're going to be accessing the Facebook div and loading the contents of the um, text file. Okay. Just change the extension. It's text. Okay. So first let's access the uh, Facebook div using its ID, Facebook. And then we're going to use an Ajax uh, method. It's uh, the load method. It's quite simple. Um, all we need to do is give it a parameter where we put the uh, location of, uh, of the file that uh, holds the data. So in our case, it's Ajax forward slash some text dots or some data dot uh, text. Okay, so let's refresh the page and see what happens. So you can see that the contents of Facebook has just changed and we've got the uh, data that we loaded from the uh, text file. Okay. Okay, let's try uh, something similar with the uh, Apple uh, div. So again, we're going to be accessing the um, Apple div using its ID and using the same method, same function, load. But this time, we don't want to load the full or the entire data. We, w we only want to load the first paragraph. So to do that, we're going to use the ID of the paragraph. So inside the quotes, we'll um, have both the location of our file followed by uh, the um, ID of the elements we are interested in. So we need uh, to use a number sign followed by the ID. In our case, it's paragraph one. Okay. And if we refresh the page, we can see that we just loaded the first paragraph uh, onto the Apple div. Okay, so the load function is quite an easy function, but very powerful Ajax uh, tool to load uh, data from external uh, resources. So now we're going to move to another um, function that we can use to load external data. But before we do that, let's just create a button just before Facebook. Okay. And what we would like to do is, okay, let's just refresh the live preview. So what we would like to do is um, click on the uh, button and load data onto the um, Microsoft Stiff. But this time we're going to use another function for that. So, so first of all, we're going to access the uh, button. 
So we can just use the tag name button because we ha only have one button there. Okay. And the event is click. And then we're going to define a uh, function inside the parenthesis, open curly brackets, and close curly brackets. All right. So this new uh, function is going to be Ajax. Okay, so just be careful with the syntax. It's going to be dollar sign followed by dot and then the name of the function Ajax. All right. Okay. And then we, op we open the parenthesis and close it. And we need a semicolon there. Then we're going to open a curly bracket where we're going to put the um, parameters and so on and close it there. So first we need the URL of the uh, file that uh, stores the, uh, the data. So in our case the URL is the same as this. Okay. So first we need the URL keyword followed by colon and then the um, URL um, as a string. Okay. And then we need a comma and following that we are going to use another keyword it's success followed by colon. So what we're doing here so we're loading the data Okay, using the URL. And then under the success condition, we're going to have another function to execute once the data is loaded. So this function, we're going to define it and it will take one parameter. We're going to call it data. We can call it anything we want. So what's, what's happening here is that we are loading data from this file. Okay. And that data that we loaded is going to be stored in this variable. Okay, so all the HTML code of this text file that we're going to be loading is going to be stored in this data file, and then we will this uh, in this data uh, in this uh, variable. Sorry, so and then we're going to use this variable inside the uh, code of this function. All right, to change the content of the Microsoft div. So let's access the Microsoft div using its ID. Okay. And we're going to use the HTML method to change the HTML of the Microsoft div. And inside the parameter of the HTML method, we're going to use the data uh, variable. Okay. So again, all we're doing here is, so we, we load data using the URL. Okay, and under the success condition, we put data inside a variable that we called data. Okay, and we will execute this function that we defined here. So, um, you, uh, we uh, so using the uh, the variable uh, that will store the uh, content of the uh, file as we load it. All right, so let's try this. So let's click on the button, and now we can see that the Microsoft's uh, content has uh, changed um, to uh, data stored in the text file. All right. Okay. Now we're going to try uh, another way. It's uh, more or less similar. So we're just going to copy paste the same code we have used so far. And we're just going to comment this one. So this time, we're going to use the same uh, function, okay? But we will give it only one parameter, only the URL, and then we will use another method. So the way we're going to do that is, so we're going to keep this, okay? So we're going to rewrite the uh, function, the Ajax function. So again, 
we're going to use the Ajax function. So dollar sign dot Ajax. And this time, we're going to have only one parameter. So we need a parenthesis and then uh, curly brackets. And then we will, will um, use only the URL parameter there. Okay. And then we're going to use another method. It's done. Okay, so so this method, so inside this method, we will um, have the same uh, function data that we defined over there. Okay, so function. Let's write it. Okay, function. And data, All right? And then inside the function, where we're going to write our statements, where we access the Microsoft Stiff using its ID. Okay. And we're changing the HTML content of the uh, Microsoft Stiff using the data uh, variable. Okay, we can change the name of the variable. We can call it some data if you want to. I'm just going to change it. Okay, so we're doing exactly the same thing. We need the dots there for the uh, for the method. So so we're doing exactly the same thing, but rather than using um, this uh, this way, we're just uh, using the AJAX uh, function with only the URL in the parameters of the function, and then we're using a method uh, done. Okay, that will take uh, as a parameter um, a function that we will, we are defining here using the uh, variable some data where we store uh, the contents of the uh, loaded um, data uh, from the text file. All right, and then we pass this uh, parameter to the statements of the function to um, change the HTML content of the Microsoft div. So let's try and make sure this is working as well. So if we click on the button, we can see that this is working as well.